IDF officials have told cabinet ministers that should Israel undergo a coordinated missile attack, there would be less than 300 Israeli casualties. The number was mentioned by IDF officials during a discussion with Israel's security diplomatic cabinet and is far lower than the number mentioned previously by Defense Minister Ehud Barak, who reportedly said 500 Israelis would die in such an attack. A senior official in the IAF added that in the event of a coordinated missile attack on Israel's home front, missiles and rockets would be fired at Israel by the Syrian army, Hezbollah in Lebanon, terror organizations in Gaza, and most probably by the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. The IAF believes that for three weeks thousands of missiles and rockets would land in Israel and the number of people dead would reach 300, as well as hundreds of people wounded and severe damage to property and infrastructure. Chief Palestinian negotiator Sayyab Arakat was expected to meet Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's aide Yitzhak Malcho on Tuesday to discuss the stalled peace process. The meeting is apparently related to a letter the Palestinians plan to send Netanyahu next week, which specifies the Palestinian Authority's conditions for jump-starting the peace negotiations. According to Abbas, the letter states that if Israel is not willing to return to the negotiating table, the Palestinian Authority will file a complaint with international national bodies. Tunisia's Jewish community is making an official complaint over anti-Semitic slogans chanted at a protest demanding the imposition of Sharia or Islamic law in the country. Tunisia, which has a Muslim majority of more than 10 million, is home to a Jewish minority of about 1,500. Similar incidents took place in January during a visit to Tunisia by Palestinian Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh and in February during the visit of an Egyptian cleric. The Israel police will host colleagues from around the world next month for the first Interpol conference to be held in the country. Israel Police Commissioner Inspector General Yochanan Danino said that law enforcement agencies in Europe are facing many challenges and that cooperation is vital for lowering crime and maintaining public order. Tel Aviv will host the three-day Interpol conference, which will be the 41st international parley of its kind and will feature sensitive security discussions behind closed doors. It will attract some 200 police brass from 50 countries. Irani Kiryat Shmone is the Premier League champion for the 2011-2012 season after drawing 0-0 with Apoel Tel Aviv to maintain a 16-point gap at the top of the standings with only five matches remaining in the season. After failing to clinch the title last week, losing 1-0 to Bnei Yehuda, Kiryat Shmone needed just a single point to win a historic championship on Monday, and it overcame a nervy performance to get it.